Hello, this is HG Bailey, and let's change the beat. And let's play Dragon Quest V! Take on Bishop Laja himself. Uh, not that I have any idea who he is, but uh, he's not really doing much of anything. He's just kind of laughing at us. Oh, come on. That didn't hurt very much at all. I can heal that with one spell. We're going to run circles around this guy. Whoa! Ow! Uh... I'm almost out of MP, too. Yeah, he doesn't know what he's doing! He's just trying to assess the situation! We can take him, Saber! Yeah! Get it! Him. Or just take a cat. This isn't going well. Um... That's... That didn't work. Pancras, save us! You didn't seem to have very much problem beating up little children. Huh? Hmm, I wonder if they had met before. I don't think they ever explained anything about that. Order of Zugzwang. Hmm. That's a weird name. Uh-oh. Come on, Pancras, you can take him! Just hit him twice every round. Yeah, there you go! All right, yeah, he's taking him out. Woohoo! All right, Pancras to save the day. What do you mean by that? And if you can't read the text there, because it's moving so fast, it says Pancraz stoically endures the assault. I just put the text so fast so we can get through this as quickly as possible. find that thing earlier. I like Lodge's speech pattern there. Oh, well, I have no idea why that would matter. I mean, it's not like the fate of the world hangs in the balance with that thing. Not anymore, anyway. I don't know if you could hear that, but he was even howling there a little bit. It's kind of faint, but uh, I'm still alive, but my dad's gone. Holy crap, they burned him alive right in front of you! Jesus Christ! That's pretty hardcore. Got me choked up the first time I saw that. 
But, uh, yeah, that thus ends the first generation of the game. Let's take a look at what we got. We got 1 HP, and, yeah, our uh, avatar has changed a little bit, and we're, what are we? We're a Crocodilopolis slave, or something like that. I don't know what that means, but, well, we're a slave, obviously. Hmm, I guess Crocodilopolis is the name of this place. Well, let's take a look around. So, I guess now we're 16, or... Something like that, maybe a little older. You should see the scene, that scene in the uh, PlayStation 2 version with uh, Pankras back there. Uh, it's pretty hardcore because with uh, the PlayStation 2 graphics there, they don't just have Pankras getting in a battle with the two guys, letting them wail on him to save your life. They, they have the full cut, animated cutscene with him they're just beating the crap out of him. And they show the fireball that Laja throws at him just in slow motion, like, <sighs> right at him. It's like, holy cow. And that's about as hardcore as they get. But anyway. Figure after ten years we would have found a way to get out of this place. Yeah, absolutely. Well, let's head on upstairs. Get a little fresh air. These guys kind of remind me of uh, the future people from Chrono Trigger. Hmm. Great ruler, huh? Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's true. Uh, well, okay, sure, why not? If there's a steady paycheck involved, I'll do it. I'll believe anything you say. Uh, sure, I'm young. Well, at least I'm getting plenty of exercise. Ah, oh, hey, Harry. How's it going? Oh, we've been trying to escape, but, uh... Hasn't been doing too well, huh? Yeah, yeah, that would be a good idea. And kick ass and take names. Revenge. Why not? Man, that's a long time. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Whatever you say, buddy. Okay, well, in any, any case, in order to progress with the plot, you gotta go over there, talk to Harry, and then you gotta talk to this guy. Oh. Sorry, I went through that a little quickly. So. Hmm. Well, I'll keep an eye out for her. Let's take a look around, see if there's anything over here. Let's see. I don't think there's anything in the cave in the upper left there. So, you would have seen it on the top screen there. But, uh... We can't get in that door, so, uh... Ah! Lights changed. Well, at least they give us plenty of rest. Yeah, not to mention, we're, uh, I was saying about how the plot has changed. I mean, we just got sold into child slavery. Holy cow. Oh, yeah, I suppose so. Yeah. Man. You figured that it'd be more worthwhile to them to sell Harry off for ransom or something. Well, do the best I can. Yeah, probably not. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it's nice to know they still have their sense of humor. Well, I figured we'd just pee in the water over there, but, uh, well, whatever works for you guys. You gotta go. You gotta go. 
Yeah, thank you for reminding me. Hmm. Well, I'll do the best I can. Maybe I can lead an uprising. Something. Sure, what's up? Oh, Maria, huh? So that's her. Well, apparently they have no problem with that. Let's go. Oh, there you go. Pay no attention to her viewers. Just because she has a name doesn't mean that she's remotely important to the plot. Well, certainly not me. Yeah, I'm no hero. Um, I thought going up to the door would advance the plot. Maybe talking to Harry will be that. Again, will be that. Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I kind of forgot uh, what the exact trigger was here. Maria's like, yay! Now I get to see how bad of a life you guys have here. Oh. Okay, I'll get back to work. But can we find a way to get out of here in five minutes, even though we've been stuck here for ten years? What about Maria? Is this the worst prison ever? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest V! This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!